Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, you new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an up upload. So guys, uh, what I do is I, I post videos, um, uh, a few b videos a week. I also show you gameplay of me using particular schemes or particular playbooks. Uh, so if you're looking for strategies to go ahead and diversify your play calling, add more plays, you want to go and do that. Uh, currently right now, this is early on uh, the first week of Madden 21, and I'm in the process of actually developing a full breakdown, probably about 12 different formations out of New England playbook. So if you guys like New England, you, uh, stay tuned to my channel. Um, I'm going to be showing you some, some uh, different types of plays that, that you can leverage in your New England scheme to get move the ball up and down the field. It's turned out to be a very good play. But if you want that instantaneously, you can go to my Patreon and just for a dollar, you can get access to all my plays. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, basically um, a commonly requested video that I get usually every year. Uh, I take this kind of, kind of for granted because I've been playing Madden for over 25 years. Um, and uh, this is just common knowledge to me and I don't even think anything of it. But a lot of new players or players that have, have walked away from Madden and got back into it. These are things that they just don't take into consideration. So this is going to be a, a tutorial on how to read defenses uh, so you can make the right decisions on where, what you want to do with your ball. So uh, this is going to help you um, make better decisions with your choice of making plays, uh, where you want to go with the ball, uh, and it's going to help you uh, expand your offensive knowledge. Now there's three different ways that uh, basically you can read a defense. There's the pre-snap read, where essentially you're looking at the alignments uh, of the defensive backs and the safety uh, and the linebackers to determine what type of a defense shell it's going to be, so you can make your hot reads or make your 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 read and where you want to go with the ball if you're passing or if you're running. The second way is watching the safeties after the snap. So you've got after the snap. The safeties usually will indicate, it usually gives you a very good tell. It's going to indicate to you what type of shell you're going after and then where you want to go with the ball after the snap. The third way is to re read the outside defensive backs. Uh, it's going to tell you essentially what type of coverage you're going after. So um, these are the three different things that I use in gameplay uh, on how I want to attack my opponent. I'll make my initial read before the snap just to say, okay, this is the shell. This is what might be the weakness. I'll look at the safeties after the snap, and then I'll look at the outside defensive backs to determine what type of coverage I'm going after and learn how to attack my opponent from there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use random 34 defenses. These are, uh, these are basically... Uh, a defense with the odd and the cub. So this will kind of uh, give me some random defenses to look at. All right, so uh, basically when I'm reading a defense, I'm, I'm reading the defensive backs. Now, the most important thing I want to point out to you uh, is uh, basically the type of set that you're using. If you're using a standard set where the, where the split outs, the wide outs are actually off wide, that's going to change up the alignment of, of your, your defense. Now, if you use uh, a close formation, uh, let's say the weak close right here, uh, this is going to basically change up the alignment a little bit. So what you want to do um, just to try to help yourself read defenses, I would recommend going into the game mode uh, like this uh, and then uh, essentially taking uh, your uh, taking two controllers if you have them um, and, and using one controller or another controller so you can test yourself. So we got off coverage right here. I'm going to go ahead and reset the play. Uh, this is indicating to me that this type of coverage, because these defensive backs are off, it's most likely some type of a cover four shell or maybe some kind of a, a, a man blitz or something like that, because all these defensive backs are off deep. So cover four shells mean they're gonna, the, all four guys are going to fall back, uh, and then uh, if it's a man blitz, all these guys need to be off the line so they, can, they don't get beat over the top. Now, what you can do to test your, your ability to kind of tell what the coverage is essentially is by uh, using this using this method where you can go ahead and, and use two controllers and just do random plays. And when you do that, you can see. So right here, this is a cover four drop defense. Very, very common to see online. A lot of players have been using this, especially in, in, in previous, the last couple of Maddens, a uh, very, very common play that you can use. So if you know that your opponent's running cover four, you can go ahead and attack, uh, determine your, your opponent. But what my tell is, is these defensive backs are all far back. So it's going to either be one of two different types of defenses. It's going to either be uh, basically a man blitz 
or it's gonna be some kind of cover four. Now, one of the reasons why I knew this was cover four is that the safeties are not lined up particularly over one player or over another. They're basically, they're, they're everybody's like kind of equal distance. So that's kind of a tell that I'm gonna have. So let's go and jump into another play uh, and, and, and try to get a tell from there from that. All right, so once again, this is the same type of a look, but this dip, this time, um, basically these guys are, are are still off fairly far. The safeties aren't lined up anything special. So with that, I'm assuming this is gonna be another cover four. And actually this is a cover three shell. So this is a cover three show two type of a look, and this will actually go ahead and throw you off. So it's important that you, you guess initially where what, what your opponent's been using against you, uh, and then kind of make your reads from there. That's why it's important to have be able to read the defense after the ball has actually been snapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I'm seeing cover four initially right now, uh, but after the ball is snapped, that's gonna go ahead and, 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 and make a big difference. So let's go ahead and snap the ball and show you what I'm looking at after the ball is snapped. So once the ball is snapped, what I wanna do is I wanna read these safeties. Okay, so these safeties are gonna kinda of tell me what type of coverage it's gonna be. Now cover four, these guys should drop straight back because they're playing quarters. So this guy's gonna drop straight back, this guy's gonna drop straight back, this guy's gonna drop straight back, and this guy's gonna drop straight, straight back. That's gonna be a cover four shell. But because this, this CPU is disguising this coverage, take a look. This safety comes down into the hole, he bites down. This safety bites up and actually goes ahead and plays the middle of the field. And this safety right here actually goes ahead and plays the middle, middle of the field and bites up too. So that's a cover three shell. Now, a lot of times what people have for cover three shells is they'll have a streak that's gonna go into the seam area right here to get a, get a big completion. So if you know how to read a coverage after it's snapped, you can abuse someone later on if they're running the same type of coverage over and over again. So once again, we've got the same type of look. This looks like a cover four. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is a cover four, but this type of coverage is a little bit different. This is a palms coverage, uh, just because of the way this is set up. But all I really want to do is I want to go ahead and take a look at how these safeties play. So we're just going to go ahead and run with this double uh, pump and go. And see how these guys drop. They actually play flat. And that's going to give me an opportunity for a huge play down in the field. Now, um, coverage is actually showing me cover four because this guy looks, these all four of these guys are actually up or are, are, are deep. They're giving up a big yards. Once the ball is snapped, I'm gonna watch what happens with the safeties. Now watch these safe, safeties. They bounce back a couple steps and they stick. So what that means, all these guys all bounce back a, a, few, a few yards and then they stick. And then when they carry, that means that they're actually gonna, when they carry and they flip their back, that means that they're actually playing man coverage. Now, this is a cover four palms type coverage, quarters coverage. Um, and these, these guys all have, have uh, responsibilities. Uh, which essentially work like man. So if I've got a play that's got a man beater like this this uh, double move, I know I can beat my opponent up top for a big completion. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this coverage right here. This coverage is a little bit unique. We've got one defensive back down and we got another defensive back up on both sides. So this is telling me a couple different things. Uh, it's telling me that that this uh, this defense uh, is is either a blitz or it is a cover six shell or a cover nine shell, meaning that one half is actually gonna be um, a cover two shell, the other half is gonna be a cover four shell. Now, because this, uh, this uh, guy off the left-hand side by Robinson is on the inside of the receiver, my guess is that this is actually a blitz. This might be a cover three shell blitz. And this is because I've been playing this game a long time because this is an, uh, a 34 odd defense. But that's my guess. So we're just going to go ahead and use slants right here as a fast release. And is exactly what it is right there. Is it actually it is a, it's a cover three blitz. I'll show you how the coverages roll and go from there. So because this guy is on the inside of the receiver, that means he wants to get a clean release into the blitz, and he actually comes rolling off. Now, these three guys are gonna fall into thirds. He's gonna fall back into a third. He's gonna fall back into a third. 
this guy's going to fall back into third, and then I've got the, the zone coverages with the, with the, uh, the linebackers. Now, this is the right read right here, even though the ball got kicked, picked off. I should have threw it a little bit earlier, but it, I could tell that this is a blitz just because of the way this, this defensive back was aligned. All right, so this is one of the biggest tells of a cover three shell. Look at the safeties. The safeties are all, uh, there's three high safeties. So you get a single high safety. It's usually telling you it's a cover three or it's some kind of cover one coverage, meaning that middle safety is going to be um, either that I've got man coverage or I've got a basically deep, a deep uh, thirds on each one of the sides just because I've got three high safeties. If it's, a, if it's two high safeties, that's cover two. If all, all four guys are back, that could be some kind of a cover four shell. But this is three high. This, it looks like I can, I can hit my opponent in the seams. And let's go ahead and take a, pick, a peek at it. This is a man coverage. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and just assume um, that uh, that uh, I can either hit him in a, in a cover three shell beater like this, uh, like this a scissors play. I can hit him with that because this corner route should typically be open where I can hit it underneath with that. So it just, let me just show you once again on the roll. So we got the, the single high safety. He goes straight up and these guys right here go straight up. Now I wanna show you something, which is another tell, and this is the third tell that you're gonna get against your opponent. If your defensive back on the outside takes his butt and totally takes his butt and totally flips it behind the receiver, he puts his back to the receiver, that means this essentially is man coverage. So now, if I've got a, a, a corner route by this by this by this um, by this tight end, I can actually anticipate that he's going to beat that corner out, and that's another tell. This is one of those things that you can tell playing against your opponent if it's man coverage or not. Is essentially is if he flips his back. Once he flips his back to the wide receiver, now I know I've got man coverage. So that could be another one of the things that I'm looking at. So I'm going to watch right here. I know it's a three eye shell. I'm going to watch this defender right here to see what happens with him. He actually comes out and he doesn't go into any kind. He goes into, he flips his back to the wide receiver, meaning that's, that's, that is basically man coverage. If he's in a, some kind of a three high shell, what's going to happen is he's going to either, he's going to blitz come in or he's going to flow it out to this area to take away some kind of an out route or he's going to go into a cloud flat. But because he lines up with this guy and flips his back, that means I've got man coverage and I can hit him with a man beater. So this is what we call um, a typical setup, which is gonna be a cover two man type shell. Look at the defensive backs on each side of the receivers. They're pressed down on their men. Um, and this, and I got a two eye shell with the safeties. The safeties are basically e are even with each other um, and there's nothing special with their alignment. They're, they're kind of in the box. So my, assum my assumption, this is some type of man coverage Cover two. Uh, so it's a very common shell that you're going to be seeing online because man coverage is OP this year. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the play. All right. So this is basically a cover two shell um, with with this, with this particular play, but it's actually a zone coverage. So when the ball snapped, that's when we're going to go ahead and take a read uh, and make a determine what's going to happen. So. If I've got cover two, I'm going to go ahead and read the middle linebackers. I'm going to look at the safeties when the ball is snapped. And once I look at that, that's going to kind of determine where I want to go with the ball. So it's either man coverage or just a basic cover two press right here. So I'm going to watch the safeties. This is my first read after the snap. I'm going to look at these guys. Okay, so these guys bounce off. They're, they bounce out deep that means it is a, it is a, a an over the top cover two shell but my next read essentially is going to be these guys right here now take a look at these guys these guys float out these guys float out into coverage but they don't necessarily man anybody up so that means i can expose my my opponent um, against cover two shells and the way the scissors play works is that this deep post is available for a big completion right over the middle um, is my read so if i can hold my blocks Get rid of the ball. I can actually hit my opponent for a big, uh, big play right there. So we've got off coverage right now. So this could be telling us that it's it's cover four. I got all defensive backs off, or some kind of a could potentially be some type of a man blitz. But most likely because these guys are all spaced out equal distantly, it's probably cover four. Let's go ahead and take a peek, pick, take a peek. 
and is actually it's disguising the coverage it's man coverage so that's fine it's still you you still have with this you, you're gonna your, your cover four can be a man matching principle or it could be cover four drop you, you can anticipate that so if i anticipate some type of man man coverage what i can do is i can hit him with a man beater like this with the double move so a lot of times if i got i got a guy that's cover four um he's running a lot of cover four what i'll do is i'll take a peek if i anticipate whether it's if he has a tendency that he's using um, like a quarters or a palms defense, which has got a lot of man manchi principles, or he's using man coverage. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a double move into my scheme, and I'll read this defensive back over him immediately. And what happens is if this guy is actually manned up on this guy, what he's going to do is he's going to flip his back. And because of the way the double moves work, especially with a good route runner like Robinson, uh, this is going to get the defensive back out of position, and this is going to give me an opportunity for a huge play down the field. So I'm just, all I'm really doing is making a determination. Okay, so uh, I'll do a couple different things. Outside of reading it, I'm gonna try to memorize what type of defenses. A lot of people online use a lot of the same defenses online. They're gonna stay in a cover three shell and they're gonna go ahead and, and use that and just hope you you fall into one of their zones or gonna pick, pick you off or whatever. Or they're gonna use cover four, or they're gonna use cover two. Most players online don't really mix up the coverages too much unless you run into somebody that really understands the depth of the game or doesn't know what they're doing. They're just mixing things up because they're just mixing things up. But most players online will actually run the same type of a defense um, online and make adjustments out of that. So because this is cover four and say, for instance, I played this guy, I've been playing this guy for halfway through the game and he's showing me a lot of man matching principles or he's showing me um, uh, basically man coverage. I'll hit him with a, with a, with a, a double move, which is going to beat man coverage. And once I see this defensive back, flip once he flips his back like this that means i know i'm going to go be able to hit him up top with a high probability because this is a, this is a huge man beater right there now another thing i do too is when i'm when i'm making decisions on offense i'm watching the safety support right here this guy's on an island over here but i'm also going to watch the safety to see if i can hit him up top if this if the safety shoots out real far that means it's going to be double teamed i'm not going to throw that so this are, that's just another high level thing in madden and when you're when you're a part of my patrons or you follow my channel uh you'll see that i'll show you i'm like okay this is what i'm looking at right now before i throw the ball because i want to make sure that i'm not throwing into a double coverage um i'm gonna i'll i'll take away i won't look at that route anymore when i'm uh, because of the double coverage is out there all right, so we've got three high safety look right here. We've got a defensive back on the far side that's really far out wide. So this could be basically a, a cover three shell or some type of man coverage. It's not gonna be cover two. It's not gonna be cover four because you got a three high safety. So that's gonna be essentially our read with that. And you can see right here, this is a, uh, we've got a, a three high safety type of look. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you another thing that you can look at uh, is defensive backs, especially if you do a cloud flat, which is basically going ahead and doing um, over the top coverage and then maybe underneath. This is, good. This is going to uh, take those cloud flats that are going to play the sidelines. And that's another read that you can make when you're actually putting together complement routes for pass plays. So I'm going to show you how you can use like a little pass play like this to keep your opponent honest. So once again, I'm looking at the safety. I know this is most likely to be a cover three or it's going to be some type of man blitz. And this guy pulls straight up. This guy pulls straight up. Now, another a read I'm making too is I'm watching these outside defenders if it's cover three. Someone actually has to go to the outside. So watch this guy shoot straight out like this. This means it's going to be his own coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and put some, some type of a complement route to go ahead and keep my opponent, my, my opponent out of. So what I could do essentially is I can go ahead and put a little hitch route right here because this defender can't play that because he's got to play the sideline. And I've got this route right over the middle because this is a very aggressive uh, cover three man blitz. So once again, cover three shell, it's either man or zone coverage. And if I want to keep my opponent out, so just go ahead and set up a, a play like this. I'm going to go ahead and motion out this wide, this uh, full, this running back to the outside, 
And this will actually kind of give me a tell where I want to go with the ball based on the, the pre-snap look. Now, let's just go ahead and take a peek at this really quick. I know it's cover three or man coverage. This is man coverage. So, what is my hot read right here? Well, I'm going to take a look at Cohen as my hot read uh, because if it's man coverage, what's going to happen is the defender is actually going to go ahead and, and, and follow Cohen uh, as a fast read. And I can actually go ahead and dump it down to this route right here because the defender actually follows. This is just building a structure based on um, my, my, my pre-snap read. All right, so it's cover three. I've got a three-eye shell or it's man coverage. There's going to be the two different options right here. Now, because I, I understand how I'm playing against these guys, I'm going to go and watch this guy. Now, watch what happens. Once the ball is snapped, because I put this guy out, this defender takes his back and he flips it immediately flips his back as soon as the ball is released. Tell me this is man coverage. Most players don't use a lot of hybrid coverages, but because of that, um, I know that if I wanted the fast read, I can hit this little out route, uh, and this out route will be available for, for a nice big completion. Now, of course, I had some wide open guys on the backside here, but I wanted to show you that I can make a read uh, uh, post snap uh, to determine, and I can set up, I can actually structure my, uh, my offense to go ahead and tell me whether it's zone or whether it's basically um, man coverage after the fact because of the way I have these routes set up and my first read right here. So I'm just looking at this defensive back right here. He flips his back, that's man coverage. I'm immediately going to the out for an easy completion. All right, so safety comes down in this, in this type of situation. So if the safety comes down, most of the time, safeties don't come down unless it's going to be some type of, of blitz. That's, that's the purpose of what they're doing. So you can see right here, he comes down as a free safety blitz. Uh, it could be a cover three shell too, but look at the one safety on, um, on the left-hand side. He's actually kind of aligned off the left-hand side. So that's kind of a tell it's going to be man coverage. So that's, I'm going to go ahead. Hit my hit my opponent with it with with a double blitz right here, and double move, and hopefully I can get that ball off with that. But didn't get rid of the ball quick enough. Right, so we've got a press coverage right here. So it's either one of two different things. Uh, it is either uh, basically cover two press, or it is basically a, a man coverage. Now take a look at the defensive backs. The defensive backs are in the inside. Of, of the wide receivers. So if that's the case, it might be some type of a cover two shell uh, with hard flats trying to attack it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this and we're gonna take a peek at this and see if it's, it, if it's cover two zone or cover two man. And it's actually cover two man. So that might be a little tell that we can get from this game that these, if these guys are slightly on the inside, it's cover two man. Three high shell. Um, we've got off coverage, three high shell. Uh, the safety is a little bit further back. Uh, it looks like he's about um, 15 yards off the ball, but the defensive backs on the outside, if you take a look at these guys on the outside, they're, they're about seven yards depth. So let's go ahead and take a look at this off the snap of the ball. So right there, it is man coverage because that safety is a little bit further off the ball. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and try to complement uh, this route, what we can do is we can do an in route with the anticipation that if it's man coverage, <clears throat> we have a route that will complement a zone coverage. If this is man coverage, this guy's going to get past this right here. But if it's zone coverage, these guys, this guy will probably pull up and fall into this zone. If I got a route that comes on the on the back end of it, he should be wide open because this guy actually has to play his zone on the outside or he's going to play down on uh, uh, down to the flat. So that's just another way you can complement the routes. And that's one of the things that I'll actually show you um, and my Patreon and, and this channel uh, is how to complement routes to beat different types of coverages. Now, what a lot of good players will do is they'll do coaching adjustments. Uh, and uh, what they'll do is they'll base a line or their man align. Um, basically what they're doing is they're going to take their defensive players and they're going to disguise their coverage. Now most players, uh, most of the, the elite players will base align, 
primarily because they want to basically go ahead and show their opponents the same look, and you're more likely to get pressure within a baseline defense. What the challenge is with, with someone who runs a baseline defense is that you're always going to see the two high shell safety look, and that's where it comes into reading the ball after the snap because a lot of times what's going to happen, you're going to see the same coverage um, that you're going to see the same look before the ball is snapped, and that's where you have to go ahead and read uh, basically what happens after the ball. You're going to have to read the safeties, and then you're going to have to read basically the, the defensive backs to make a determination where you want to go with the ball. So right here, basically, you've got uh, that four high safety look, but now it's cover three, so that's going to mess you up a little bit uh, from, from where you want to go with the ball if you're in a passing type situation. Same type of a look, but now it's cover two. Same type of a look, but now it's it's single. It's a single high safety. This is a cover one type situation. Same type of a look, but now it's cover two man. So that's why it's important to um, be able to read the play after the ball is snapped. Uh, is that you just can't determine quickly uh, right from the very beginning of what type of play it's going to be once the ball is snapped. You want to basically go ahead and try to read it afterwards. So um, a lot of players, what they'll do, uh, a lot of players, what they'll do is they're going to read the defensive, the safeties first, determine what it is, and then make their decisions on how they want to go and throw the ball uh, after the ball is snapped. So let me just show you how I process that information. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the safeties. And if it's basically man coverage and a cover two man coverage, these guys are going to shoot out like this, or this is a cover two shell. So these guys are going to shoot out like this. They're going to shoot out. That means I've got a two high safety look. That means if I got a streak going down the sideline, this guy is going to gobble it up. This is double team. Same thing with these guys. My next progression is going to be underneath with, with the linebackers. The linebackers are actually going to give me a tell right here. See how this guy actually just kind of gets in a weird position? He doesn't float straight back. He doesn't float off to the sideline. He doesn't float off to the left or actually come blitzing in. He actually floats up, and then he turns his back to you as a wide receiver, meaning that or it turns your back, back to his wide receiver to the quarterback, meaning he's playing man coverage, and then I can hit him with a man beater with this deep corner route. Same type of a look. I don't know what the shell's going to be. And right here looks like it's some type of man coverage. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that. This guy falls back into a deep um, coverage, and he comes down. This guy comes shooting down, meaning he's playing man coverage. See how this guy aggressively comes down to his man? That means I've got another man coverage beater. So that's where I want to look at that because this guy, if this guy was playing some type of a zone, he would actually, if he's playing a flat zone, he's going to go out, he's going to fly out to this direction, opposed to actually coming, just beelining down. And then once again, here's my other read too, is the way these defensive players play, once they flip their back to your quarterback, that means they're playing man coverage. So that's that's going to be our tell right there that we're going to take a look at. Uh, and, that, and that's one that's going to give us a tell what, what type of a defense it is. So a lot of elite Madden players, when they, when they design their offenses, they're going to design their offenses to basically have a route that's going to beat man coverage, like an in route or a counter route. They're going to have a route that's going to protect or perhaps beat uh, basically cover two shell. Uh, they're going to have a route combination that's going to be cover three, and they're going to have a route combination that's going to be cover four. So they're going to basically provide themselves all different types of route combinations that are going to beat these common shells. So guys, this, this is just kind of like an entry level type thing. I would recommend if you want to get better at reading defenses, what you want to do is the following thing. First and foremost, you want to go ahead um, and just do random deep play against random defenses. Uh, use two controllers. Uh, have a sort, random defense is, is the one of the one of the one of the things. And then what you want to do is essentially go ahead and try to guess what it is, and then go ahead and snap the ball and see where where it's at. That's going to help you with your with selecting your coverages. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and set your defenses up um, to uh, to coast, coach, coaching adjustments. So go into the coaching adjustments and actually go ahead and base align. You can go ahead and do man align too. This is going to help you tell what you're going to go after. After you've learned how to read defenses, post snap, watching the safety, seeing what the safeties do and what type of shell you have, 
uh, what you what you're gonna whether you get a back from the defensive back or not. This is gonna help you structure your offenses to basically beat those type of coverages. And those are things that I picked up playing this game for a long time and then start picking up a tendencies and how this game plays. So guys, if you do like this tip, thank you. Once again, smash the like button. If you guys are looking for extensive breakdowns on how to read defenses and what I'm looking at, uh, how I'm actually going ahead and carving my opponent up and down the field, go to my Patreon for a dollar. You can join my Patreon and I'm actually rolling out tips. I've already put out about six different formations in New England Playbook. I've got another six I'm gonna put up. Uh, but this is a good way to go and take your game to your next level. So thank you for your support, and until next time.